Hey Wheelhouse users that love spending the night in the shack, there's nothing better than having hot coffee in the morning. Now if you want to make coffee with a traditional coffee maker, it's really taxing on the generator and often when you're brewing coffee you can't use a lot of the other electrical functions in the house at that time. So I'm going to share with you a way to make coffee that's better than drip brewed and also doesn't require any taxing on the generator. Let's get started. So here's what you need to make good coffee in the fish house. Of course, I always carry lots of water just because you need it for other things, but you need a little tea kettle like this, some good coffee, your favorite coffee mug, and then the secret here is a French press. So here's how I do it. All right, so your first step is gonna be to have the water on the stove top, and we're gonna wanna get that squealing, so let's get this lit. I've actually preheated it in this case, so once that's squealing, we're in good shape. Now for a press about this size, I'm gonna use about three kind of really good full scoops of coffee, which would be like rounded tablespoons or something like that. And you can make it however strong or light like that you'd like it. So I'll do one, two, three scoops there. And now the coffee's brewing, or the this is steaming. Now I'm just gonna add enough water here to cover the coffee. Perfect. And I'll just take a spoon, kind of stir that up. There we go, get everything incorporated nicely there. Okay. Just because you don't want it to, what, what can happen if you don't stir it in, you get those kind of like flour and hot water, you get those chunks of coffee. So that's stirred up well. Now I'm just gonna fill it all the way to the top, or as much as I'd like to make, right about there. Now I'm just gonna let this sit well covered for about three and a half, four minutes, something like that. You can just keep an eye on the clock. And once that's sat there for a little while, I'll be able to push this down and pour. Now, the thing with the French press is the longer you let it sit, from my experience, the more bitter the coffee gets. So that three and a half, four minutes seems to be the sweet spot for really good coffee. And this is good coffee. I like it way better than a, than a drip pot. So. All right, the time is up, so now we're just gonna do a nice plunge down. Nice and easy. Push that baby right down to the bottom. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we're just gonna go ahead and pour right into the coffee cup. Enjoy, delicious, delicious, delicious. Fresh brewed coffee. There it is. Perfect way to start your morning and have a great day on the ice. French press coffee is the way to go in a wheelhouse.